Hi, this is CJ, and today I'm going to show you how you can integrate Microsoft LDAP or ADSER with the, the SMS Security Management Server of Checkpoint. Okay, the first thing that we have to do is we have to go to the policy, then we have to go to the global properties, click uh, not, yeah, click on smart directory, this, and click on the first one use smart directory LDAP for security gateway license required. Well at this point in time we are still evaluating the software, uh, the firewall and the SMS so everything is free right for 15 days but after that you have to purchase the license for it. So you can click on this particular thing, click on OK, now click on manage. Look for servers and OPSEC applications you'll be presented with this particular dialog box click on new click on LDAP LDAP account unit now in the name you can give any name out here I would like to just call it Microsoft AU or Micros something to match with this one Microsoft ADAU Microsoft DIRAU. That'll be awesome. Microsoft DIRAU. Comment. You want to give a comment? You can do that. In the profile, you have to select Microsoft AD. Okay. And you need to click on this one, AD Query. Uh, I think. And yes. And you have to click type CJ. That's the name of my domain. Oops. CJ space dot com. Okay, you don't have to do with anything with single sign on. Click on servers. Click on add. Okay. In the host. I have already created a, a host here. With the name enterprise server let me show you if it can if I can no I can't do it right now I'll show you later so we just added a new host enterprise server click on this type the username I'm gonna use a standard name administrator so it's gonna be a d m i n i s t r a t o r administrator the password Confirm the password. Confirm the password, and go to the to the <laughs> string login DN. Here we have to type the string, the distinguished name of the container and the and the account. Okay, we have to be very careful with the commas and the and the common name and the distinguished name, right? So it's C N hyphen. A D M I N I S T R A T O R comma it's kept in the user group like all the administrator groups are kept by default comma DC equals C J space comma there are no spaces in between there's only one space and that's CJ space Sorry for the bad joke. <laughs> DC is equal to oh, DC is equal to com. Okay. Now we don't have to do anything out out here. Encryption. You can click on okay, and if everything is set up fine, then we can go to the object management. Click on fetch branches, and this should automatically show us the cjspace.com right so if everything is working fine then this is going to come up on clicking the fetch branches right you can again go back here go back to servers double click on this enterprise server is the the host which i created ahead of time the port is 389 administrator you can use a different account if you want to there's no problem with that but you have to make sure that you type the correct login dn they use the password click on this click on this and in the journal tab you have to click 
these two, right? And this is done. Now you click on OK. You'll see this account. Click on Close. Now you will see under Users, you will see this. Double click on it. That's my domain. Double click on this as well. And that's the branches, right? Bingo. Everything is there. Couple of points I would like to uh, mention out here is you would do yourself a word of good if you join the console computer through which you're taking access, uh, through which you are running the smart dashboard, right? The console, the, the H GUI. Just if you join this uh, to the domain ahead of time, this is going to facilitate the uh, the AD configuration. That's that's been my experience. So I have already joined this thing to its H console dot cjspace.com as you can see out here right and I will gonna show you this uh, host thing so this is an enterprise host this is the domain controller for which I created the host you can also create the create the host while you define the the server for the account for the AD right like in this case, let me show you. Oops. This is the host. Enterprise. I have not done anything here, here, or something, or here. Okay. This is the internal host. This is the domain controller itself. Mm, yeah. 192.168.1.3. And 192.168.1.3. Give it a name. Enterprise server. A comment right click on OK or like cancel because I've already done that okay so I call this particular uh, host node uh, into the host object into the configuration while I was setting up this account unit so double click on this click on servers I clicked on add but since you already add the, added the entry so you double click on this one so here you can see that you can click on new you can define the server at the time of defining the properties for the LDAP servers, right? This will open up the same dialog box. Host node, where you can type enterprise server, IP address of the domain controller, and all those things, right? Click on OK. So, I'm backing out of this one. Go back, going back to the users. So now, if you, it has pulled up everything, and the results will show up in the at the bottom like here okay so you double click on it as you can see that age console is already joined so that's the reason why it is its account um, its account name com computer account name is there and similarly we should be having account name if we just collapse it Second, yeah. So that's the sales department. So we have Bill Gates and Larry Ellison in the sales department. In technology, we have Steve Jobs and Sir Gibbon. Uh, that's one of my employees. And uh, in the info, we have uh, James Sweeney. We have Brock Lesnar as an information technology guy. We have Stone Cold Steve Austin, the Texas Rattlesnake. And so I, I do hire good people okay <laughs> so uh, that actually brings us to the end of this video this uh, very it was a very short video uh, where I have to show you how you can go about adding the domain controller to the to the SMS server I hope you like this thing thanks a lot bye